My name is Lucas Piagini and this is my painting titled First Colors. So this painting is part of a series that I've been working on for about two years now. And um, so it involves, I'll have a, a panel and I'll lay down a thick layer of, of um, oil paint. Then I'll create a mixture of sand and acrylic paint that I'll pour and then spread on top of the wet oil paint with um, just a brush and a palette knife. And because I use so many, I use a lot of materials for this painting and all of these paintings, I'll normally do a bunch of sketches beforehand, just trying to figure out the composition that I'm gonna go with and use. Um, so there's not much chance involved with this painting. The, the only way that kind of chance um, comes through is when I push the paints out because when I put the colors down and I put this um, acrylic layer over, once I push down, the paints underneath are moving and mixing together. So kind of natural colors will form. And I always find the colors on the to be really interesting, but I can also kind of dictate where I want certain colors to be. Um, and then once I start pushing the paints out, a lot of these, you'll see a lot of grooves and indentations and um, you'll, you'll see fingerprints, you know, and because my hand my touch is just so involved with making these are very sculptural paintings they stick out about you know two inches from the surface um, but i also titled them what i wanted to explain so i titled this painting um, first colors because within the first week or two three weeks about um when we're from like the moment that we're born we only see in shades of uh, gray you don't just see black and white and then about like the one month mark or earlier, but around that point, the first color we'll typically see is red. So that's why like this painting is primarily, you know, like it's shades of gray and just black. Well, it's like dark blues, deep blues, and, um, and then reds and dark browns. And I wouldn't say that this painting is about, you know, those first stages in life, but it was definitely influenced um, by the kind of like the first colors that we see, because I see, you know, whites and blacks as um, colors because you'll rarely see a natural white or a natural black unless it's in a, a black hole or it's like unfiltered sunlight. Um, so and so, I, yeah, I find this painting because it's so tactile and there's a lot of labor involved. Like it, it's not about one thing. It, it's not about. Um, there's not a story to be like kind of found within this painting, but I find um, it has such a sculptural and, co and kind of bodily presence that it really, um, like when you're in front of it, I find you can, it's able to generate multiple meanings, I find. And I'm just really excited about this painting and um, I'm excited to share. Thank you.